Okay, take two of the uh, Galaxy, the Whirlpool Galaxy, and the Constellation Canis Fanatici, also known as M51, shooting with a Sony A7S camera. Settings are 1 15th of a second shutter. ISO is 12,800. Got a 3 Milan 250 telescope, running at f9.2, and a Gen 3 10 film image intensifier. Coupled to the camera via an Aurora Tactical full frame relay lens. What we, do we have here? We've got two galaxies interacting. In the center, you got the central core of the larger galaxy. And it has some spiral arms that are just barely visible, radiating out in spirals that are kind of going, oh, I'm going to say clockwise. And one of the arms that you can't really make out here, one of the outer ones, reaches up to the second galaxy, which is a bit about the fuzzy patch around two o'clock position in the field. That would be the other. So these guys are interacting in the constellation Canis Venatici. And, uh,. Our Gen 3 image intensifier just barely makes out those spiral arms. Not easy here. Since this is a face-on galaxy, it's radiating a fair amount of blue light, and the photocathode in Gen 3 is more sensitive to blue... I mean, <laughs> red than blue. So the blue light emitted from the face-on arms is a little hard to capture, real-time at least. More what you get is just the sparkles. But uh, 98.1 is what the computer says. Got it from Mount Pinus, California, about an hour off the meridian, past the meridian, local time 10.20 in the evening. And did I say Mount Pinus, California? On a pretty 60 degree-ish balmy evening in June. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna try some stills next. M51.